So it looks like I will go to the court today. I don't want to. But what I want, anyone who knows me by now knows that what I want is to curl up into a little ball and die. That's what I want all the time. So, me whining, I don't want to do this. You know, I have to. I can't just let things continuously go on as they are. Because as I've seen, you know, like I told you what happened just one week and one day ago. I let things go as they are and just blah, 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 blah whatever. And Marion will pull her shit where she's a tiny bitch. She just wants the power of your money. I want her. I'm going to have her thrown out. You know? I don't want to make waves, I don't want to exist, I don't want to do anything, but I have to. So, this is what I'm going to hand, hand over to the clerk, which is the same thing I did. I didn't hand over a letter, but I, I talked to somebody three and a half years ago when I was 65 pounds heavier, and I just, I had gone through hell here, and, and I just found out about this, and I was drinking it. And, and all this crap, and my, my mom had just got out of the hospital, and she was still acting crazy, you know. I might not want to do this, but at least I'm in a different situation now, okay? Alright, this is what I'm going to give to them, along with a copy of the power of attorney, um, and along with the picture of me all bruised up, you know, the one I can show you guys, that shows that, yeah, my mom did, I did take a lot of money from my mom, but I wasn't putting it on my nose, you know, I was in an abusive situation, and I was drinking, and I was, you know, I was not all there myself, huh. And my mom had money for the first time ever in her life, and she wanted to help me. And then more and more bad things kept happening to me. My life just piling up and piling up. You know. I've admittedly made tons of mistakes. I'm far from perfect. But at the end of the day, I'm the daughter, and Mary, Mary and my aunt's no mother to raise. What she tells herself as being in our family is not even remotely close to the truth. Anyway, to whom it may concern, my voice unfortunately has the tendency to increase in volume whenever I'm agitated, frustrated, or upset, and busy desperately trying to get my point across to somebody whose in-point advice and opinion matters to me. I also communicate much better on paper than I do in person, so I have chosen to summarize my situation for you, and then you can ask me any question you wish to ask me, and I will try to answer you in a calm and controlled manner. This document you see before you is a durable power of attorney that my half-aunt has had on my mother who has suffered from the disease of schizophrenia since I was 10 years old and been a princess for going on 13 years. But my mother honestly didn't even know that this power, exert, power of attorney existed until seven to eight years after it had, it had come into existence. I was living in L.A. at the time, and my mother called me up in tears and told me that she had just found out that my aunt had a power of attorney over. Many, many years ago, my aunt was helping my mother with important legal matters. My mother trusted her sister equals. My mother would sign without question any piece of paper my aunt placed in front of my mother to sign. This power of attorney was actually drawn up by my aunt's notary husband, 
And my mother supposedly signed this document while my aunt's two sons witnessed the event take place at my aunt's kitchen table. I say supposedly because my mother doesn't remember anything about this day, and my mother was definitely not made aware of any of the important things that a person should be fully cognizant of before ever signing such a powerful document in the first place, especially if the person who is handing over such power to his relative, albeit a relative he does trust, has a beloved to him child whom this person wants all of his assets to go to should anything ever happen to this person. My mother actually, my mother has actually forgotten about most of the things that my aunt has said and done to both my mother and to me over the years, but I remember everything, and my mother's convenient to her memory loss is a constant bone of contention between my mother and me, because I'm understandably frustrated to no end when I know that my mother wishes to revoke this power of attorney, or to at the very least protect me by putting her home into a living trust for me. Yet, my mother admittedly fears my aunt, and refuses to even bring up any of this up with my aunt. My mother actually fears the person who has power of attorney of my mother, and this just doesn't sit right with me, seeing as it was my aunt, and not a judge, who made my aunt power of attorney over my mentally ill mother in the first place. I'm going to find out where I stand. 